PSC elections? Well, the situation right now is that the elections officer is still to determine the way forward. He has made a suggestion to us that the vote cannot be counted today, so they will seal off the box and, they, and this will be done on Wednesday. Why? What's the reason? He is not getting persons to come and work. So who will he basically to work? Well, they, as the election officer, he was responsible for getting horse personnel and paying them so that they can come and count the votes and well, wherever else, right? Mm. But apparently that wasn't done. See, even since last night, after we only counted one box, he said he was getting problem in getting people to come and work. And that has been the trend since he turned up this at, at 12, 15 today. And we are here since 8 o'clock. Very much frustrating. Well, I, I, it will be up to him. Whatever decisions he make, because right now we are not willing to accept the results because he feel it was compromised. Everything was going well and they would have been tracking the numbers and they knew they were behind. So this is what is the effect of that, of being hungry for power, knowing that you will be out and this is what transpired today. This is what transpired today. We had a, a, a little altercation yesterday because they wanted the ballot boxes to be in the building unsupervised. We didn't agree to that. Myself and two colleagues slept on the street to make sure that they come back to get, get, gain access to those boxes. So you can say since Wednesday or Saturday is when I last slept. Right? So I'm disappointed. So I'm here, I went, came back, and I had to wait till 12.15 he arrived. The other issue is that from when we tried to gain access to the building, we were told by the security that Mr. Yard said that the only persons who are going to access this building is his staff. Any other person have to wait until the elections officer comes. Nine ballot boxes came. You know who handled them? The security. So the boxes that we were trying to secure in the building were exposed to Mr. Yard staff and then the nine that came, because I as a candidate can't even touch the ballot box, but the security was able to handle nine ballot boxes. So we gained access to the building t when Mr. Bissou's arrived at 12.15. At what time were you told that they will not no longer be coming? Probably um, half hour or so. So you walk for the day as they can do. None, absolutely nothing. At 12.30, I requested from Mr. De Souza. The, I said before we continue with any counting, I need the voters list for every box. He promised, and that has not been food coming up to now. He spent about an hour, then he came back and said, he have, um, the, well, the person that brought the boxes, they were upstairs waiting. Those are boxes that came from Linden in outlying areas. So he, has, he said he has to take care of them because they're from the Reverend area. And um, the last time they tried that, the, the people vehicle break down and they reach home till midnight. So you want to make sure that they go more. But I was listening to all I know there was a flam because I know that they have been trying to rig this election. And my request, they can't fulfill it because I know they stopped the box and they didn't pay attention to the list. So they can't give me the list. So they put the ballots in the box and they cannot and they didn't take off. So he cannot produce the list. I even requested of him the the the, the statement of poll for last evening. He said he has it up to now he hasn't delivered it. Where is that? No, I don't. Where is he right now? He's upstairs. Tell me something, what are your options if you continue to see that there are no persons to come to the ballots? Well, he said he was going to make a decision in terms of the, the counting continue on Wednesday. So I said to him, I, I, I asked my second vice president to write what he's saying and if he can sign it. He said he's not going to sign to any. So I said, can I record you saying it? He said no. 
So I call, I said, who would like to witness what Mr. D'Souza's decision is? Suddenly he changed it to a suggestion. So I said to him, I am not going to entertain your suggestion. I want the, the counting to be done immediately. Yes, he's upstairs. Well, he, I, I, I only saw him when he came into the building. He normally just come inside and go into his office, and you don't see him probably until he's ready to leave. So, what can you do? What really can you do to, to resolve this? Matter? Well, we, uh, we, we try getting our attorney, but he is in the interior. He's gonna be back till Tuesday. But as I said, you sleep here until Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be sleeping here, seriously, because as I said, the whole election process has been compromised. So whatever happens, we ain't accepting it. We are not going to accept it because it's difficult. The whole process and the starting of this is to ensure that I don't win, right? What if it turns out that you win? It wouldn't turn out that if Mr. Yard really want to win this thing. That is why exactly is happening right now with the stalling of this thing. He hired Mr. D'Souza, so he's Mr. D'Souza boss. Everything you tell the, the elections officer, he has to go to Mr. Yard's office and then he comes up with something. So everything that is happening, Mr. because as I said... Yes, yes, yes. Running in the capacity. And yes. I will give you and you and you can draw your own conclusion from this. The last thing Mr. Yard said before he left yesterday and entered his vehicle is that y'all are in for a rude awakening. And this is what has been happening. So you take it into consideration because he knew that we, I was leading him. And there was his statement. And look what has happened. How do you mobilize your members to take action? Well, we have a court case detent, and I am going to document everything that has transpired here. And that is why we, there's even more ammunition for the, our case on the tent. Because our case on the tent is to, was to have the, the whole executive removed and an interim management committee installed. Because from since 2004 to 2006, this union has been in a deficit. How can we continue running this union in, in that state? We can't. In a deficit. And I understand I might his salary is over a million dollars. And the close the next person, salary hasn't reached three hundred thousand. But this union is in a deficit since two thousand and four. But the president can enjoy that kind of salary and luxury. Fly all around, enjoying life. Right? and he has the backings of the executive council. Let me give you a history exactly of what goes on here. The, the Biennial Conference is the highest forum in this union. Then General Council, then Executive Council. The Executive Council is answerable to the General Council. The Executive Council will run the union, prepare the budget and so on, and the General Council approves it. The union doesn't have a functioning Biennial Conference and a general council. Why? Because Mr. Yard has scaled all the branches. So to have these two bodies, you have to have a quorum. 2015 was the last biennial conference. Our branch had some motions, mainly two of them. One, that the presidential candidate and the executive in the future must, are only entitled to two consecutive terms. After that, they have to probably skip and then probably come again. And most importantly, the staff working at the Secretariat must be represented. Represented. He is deducting Jews from the staff that he employs, and he has to represent them. Right now, there's a timid bunch of people. All of them are afraid of this man. Every single one of them. Is this going to drive you away from? It wouldn't drive me because I came in to make this union better. So this won't drive me away. The fight has just begun. Right? And I will push for change and we will make the change. God don't sleep. We will make the change. Right? So he could do what he like 
and think he can get through. But God will make the change. And this union will come out of the doldrums that it is in. Thank you.